UDOT spent a lot of money a few years ago to extend their ferry ramp to where the water was as lake power water levels continued to decrease. The problem is the lake continued to shrink to the point where the ferry didn't even operate last year. If only a rainstorm could bring enough water, maybe Bullfrog and its marina on Lake Powell wouldn't be so empty. Yeah, it's been a challenge. Kevin Kitchen knew water levels were low, but seeing the emptiness in person, he still couldn't believe it. We'll have to see what happens with this lake and, and where that leads to in the future. Kitchen works with Utah's Department of Transportation. It's here in Bullfrog where a ferry connects Utah Highway 276 to Halls Crossing saving nearly two hours of driving to get around this side of Lake Powell. This is really about tourism, I think, for the most part, you know, and of course, for these local economies, this is this is a big, big deal for them. This is what the ferry looked like when it was operating. However, with water levels so low last year, the ferry didn't run once. We simply couldn't uh, reach the boat, couldn't reach the water. However, this year, because of an amazing snowpack, the Bureau of Reclamation expects Lake Powell to rise 70 feet. We're pretty excited about that. It'll take several winters, similar to what we just had to get Lake Powell back to comfortable levels. The mood is, is, is lessened a little bit, uh, but it's important to keep in the forefront of our minds that we're not out of the woodwork yet. At least for this year, it has a lot of people wondering if the ferry will run again. This year, you know, if we had to predict, we'd say unlikely. It's not just about water levels. A lot of that staffing has changed. It would take a few months to get somebody on board again. Kitchen says the National Park Service concessionaire that operates the ferry would have to find a certified captain and crew, plus repairs, parts, and Coast Guard inspections to make sure the ferry is safe. Because reliability was becoming an issue with such an old vessel. Water from storms and snowpack is just one part of it all. It's a little bit of a rocky venture sometimes. If this year doesn't work, UDOT will definitely try to operate the ferry again next year. Of course, there is no guarantee we will have another great snowpack and a great winter to keep those lake levels up. At Bullfrog, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.